We're going to kick it back off with a 135 pound title fight. Please bring me to the red corner representing Jimmo. Give me Micah Harden. Micah Harden. Shamik Harvey fighting out of highest end MMA, 3 and 0. Shamik Harvey! Shamik Harvey coming to take the title, attempting to take the title away from Micah Harvey. This is going to be interesting. We are now in the ring. We are not in the cage. Highest on MMA. Got a lot of guys on this car. Got three fighters. He is the first of the three to make the walk here. Of course, they also have Roger Pratcher and Brian Battle in the main event. One of the most premier teams in this area. It is about to go down. Micah Harden versus Shami Harvey gonna be taking place in a ring, which could definitely change the wrestling. Could change that wrestling element, which I think is gonna be the most important element in this fight. Your man in the middle for this five round title fight, Bill Clancy. Here we go, All round right. number one. My barn burner pick of the card, Shamik Harvey versus Micah Harden. Here we go. Two of fight for its best. Good outside leg kick from Michael Harden. Good inside leg kick. Chin down, chin down, chin down. There you go. Let's hit it high, let's hit it high. Come on, man, back, come on. You know where to go. Close it up. Close it up. Come on, Shamik. 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 Answers back with one of his own. Ooh, good outside leg kick. Ooh, straight kick now. He's flexible enough to get out of that. That was yeah. remarkable. Strong, too. Got strong quads to pull that back. Good inside leg kick. Swung the leg. Shamik does not like that. Harden with some does feints. Not. I was curious to see if we were going to see more striking from Micah in this. Ooh, inside of his own. Ah, we talked about spinning attacks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose. Combos, combos. Good. Now he's going for the sweep. Nice Great takedown take for Shamik. I wondered who would get the first in this in this fight, Shamik. But already the bridge, the hips activated for Michael Harden. See, it's a lot more difficult in a ring, you know, the ropes. Yeah. It's not a cage. It's really hard to wall walk. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna cause you don't have the issue. same options for standing up either. Good butterflies, got him up. Michael Harden up and at him. Take down again. Now he's got his own like kind of head control. It's good. He's stuffing the head down. That's what he wants to do. Stuff the head out. Stuff the head down. Very good takedown defense. Yeah, on perfect foot. defense there from Michael Harden. Uh, 
Oh, and Shamik's like slowly bringing him in, sucking him in closer yes, and closer to his stomach Shameik. and chest. Shameik with the wow, Shamik's a very talented wrestler, man. Very, very good takedown. Even more so than I originally had thought. I mean, to do that to a guy like Michael Harden is no easy task. The hooks from Michael Harden, super active, getting that butterfly guard. He does not want to stay down. Pushing him off. He is the champion. Oh, and now he needs to get that leg. There's a bad, the there's a bad spot here with the ropes. But now Micah Harden slowly taking over as he takes down Shamik. He might be able to steal this round right here if he can stay on top. For it's the been last a very, seconds. very close round so far. Yeah, I would definitely say whoever's holding down at the end of this is going to leave an impression. It's going to leave an impression on the judges yes, that sir. can secure that round for them. Yeah. Ten seconds left. All right. In my opinion, round number one in the books. Michael Harden may have taken that round, but they both exchanged some huge blows, and they showed us the grappling on display already. And I think that my prediction is going to be panning out here. I think that we're going to be in for a long night with these guys. We'll see. Only time will tell, my brother. I think they're going to try to grind each other out. Micah looking very fresh, though. Shamik doesn't look winded at all. These guys are going to come out and throw some bombs. Yeah, they're both in phenomenal shape. I mean, like, beautiful inside amateurs, leg kicks. For amateurs, they're in such good shape. Micah Harden was landing some really good inside leg kicks. Stinging leg kicks, yes. too. Shami got him against the, the ring and, you know, solidified that takedown. Couldn't hold him down too long, but it, it looks like it was enough to score. Round number two in the way. <laughs> round number two. Not trying to touch gloves for the second round. Another inside leg kick. That was a very super low calf kick. Ooh. Using that side kick. Ooh, he came in. Super Got him on the chest. Yep. Another kick. Ooh, off balance. Ooh, good body kick. Catches him on the way out with that body kick. That hurt, looked like it hurt Shamik. Yeah, that was a stinger. That was square under oh, yeah. the ribs. That's going to slow you down. Another good inside leg kick. Faking low, coming up top with a spinning back. That fist, back fist overhand was right. landed clean, too. An overhand right. Ooh, good outside. Nice reaching and low on the calf. For, reaching down for those calf kicks is no is no. Good left by Micah. Ooh. They almost fell out of the ring. Well, this happens in pride fights, too. You know, people do fall out the, of uh, the ring. It just happens. This is, is what it is. Michael Mike Harden is, hooking that rope. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's legal. We were in awe for a second watching uh -huh. what was going on. Heads are out of the ring. They need to reset. He needs to reset him. Crowd not digging the ring so far. Side control is Shamik Harvey resetting. Got to recreate this position here. Just a bump and bridge to get out of here. Michael Harden's got some good hips, man. As Super soon as strong. he gets that hook in to, to activate, he's going to push him off. 50 seconds left. Micah needs to do something right here. Yeah, this is this could be Shamik's round Shameik here. Shamik is hold definitely this taking this round right now. And this now. is where he finished Dylan Williams from. So oh, he's he got guard. He's out of a bad spot right now. I mean, yeah, that's true, but you're still on bottom when you're in guard. You know, a lot of people he think is that guard is this big victory, and it is a victory in the sense that you're not going to get any smashed. Right. He's but. super heavy as Shamik. He's not allowing Micah to do anything from here. Super yeah, heavy. He is just getting super deep on that on that one side of the guard, just leaning all his weight into that. 
And again, where you really can't activate it at all. It's super hard to do it. He's looking for an Ezekiel choke, it looks like, from here. Yeah, he's looking for one. He went to step over. Oh, that was so smart, smart by so Shamik, dude. hard to wall walk. Shamik is like a, such a, a very talented wrestler. It's going to look like Shamik's going to take that second round. I would like to say that that's 1-1 one, one in my book. It's just a real bis big disadvantage. You know, you prepare to fight in a cage, and, you know, due to the weather circumstances, you have to fight in the ring. Mm -hmm. the highest in corner saying to Shamik. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. It's it's one of those things where the rounds are close enough to where you just hope they're telling him, like, they're speaking honestly with him. Here we go. Very close fight so far, just as I had predicted in my pre-fight preview. Oh, he's not trying to touch again. Good inside kick from Micah. I on MMA begging for the chin to be put down for Ooh. Shimmy Carvey here. Nice little kick to the liver. Kind of gave him that on purpose. They're going to fall out. Looks like they're stuck in this spot right here. You got Shamik throwing some really wicked elbows to, I mean, uh, Micah throwing some really wicked elbows to Shamik's body here. Ooh. Oh, Micah come over the top with Ran a punch. Ran down some strikes. This is where Micah wants to be right here, not against those ropes. Right here, he prevail some good strikes. Shamik needs to get to his feet. Try to get on top. He needs to, oh. Oh, to explode. that's a bad spot now. This is where Micah does his, some of his best work. Uh -oh. He's going to get a hand on the chin. Does he? Let's see. He's got to stop Shamik Looks like he has double unders right now. He has double unders. He's yeah. got to sprawl. He's trying to keep I was going to say, he can go to the back so easily. Wow, he just stood there and took that. <laughs> this is crazy. They're flying out of the ring like crazy. Like This looks like one of those old school Muay Thai matches. Two guys that have not fought MMA in a ring before, you can tell. This is ridiculous. We're in awe right now watching this happen. Hickory crowd starting to turn yeah, on they're, this they're, they're boxing not. ring here. <laughs> oh man, some of these guys don't understand. Pride fights are in the ring. <laughs> it's okay. These things happen. It's better than no fight. Here we go. Good sprawl by Shamik. Looks like he got his hand under the chin here. Wow, this is uh, this is something else right now. The ring's not holding up too well.
ring is really not holding up. You know, I've I've attended a lot of Fight For It shows, and there was a time where they didn't use the cage, where they just used the ring, and it didn't have a single, I mean, when I was attending there, there was not a single fight where a takedown got somebody sent through the ropes, and we've seen it, like, in every round of this fight. You so also got to take into consideration these guys are a lot smaller, too. They can fit through these mm -hmm. ropes a little easier. It's true. It's just, it's, it's. It's really out of our hands when it comes to something like this. You know, the cage. I mean, is the alternative is ice. the alternative is is not having the card at all because the commission is not going to let you fight in a cage that is slick like that. And I think the commission is debating whether or not they want to cancel this event right now. Let's be optimistic because we still have <laughs> some amazing fights ahead of us. Uh, yeah, 100%. Unfortunately, we have a lot of great fights ahead of us. Here we go, round number four. Oh, good sidekick. Good takedown from Shamik. Outstanding takedown. And now he's, I feel like he's almost starting to take over. Like, I really do feel like Michael Harden is very exhausted right now. Shamik appears to be the fresher man. They all they need to do is reset them. That's what they need to do is reset them. They're in a, they're in a position. Reset them. Shamik on top. Yeah, Shamik's now in, a, in basically the full mount. There's that weird leg that's kind of folded in for Michael Harden. He can turn that into a guard of some sort. I think that's what he's trying to accomplish now in the half guard. Trying to roll his hip over for some kind of there he goes. Yep, butterfly. But Shamik stepping over oh, now into a full, in mount. A full mount. Right by the ropes here. Ref should reset them in the middle. Yeah, this is one of those times where, I mean, just an experience. An experience with these guys fighting in a ring, an experience with this guy refing MMA fights in a ring. So. Shamik is grinding him down now, and it's just a question of whether or not the gas tank is going to be there for Michael Harden. He tries to explode and bump and bridge, and he does. Micah in a dominant position right now. There we go. On the head, on the back now, spinning to the back. This is his bread and butter. Oh, Micah's on the back and under the neck now. Raining some knees down to the hip. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. One minute to work and lasts a lot of time for somebody as efficient sure with these is. chokes as Michael Harden. And Micah has time to work right here. Let's see if he can do it. We've had some complications, but we're working through it. There he goes. He's getting up. Oh, and he's taken down for a ride. Michael Harden has taken down Shamik. Significant Harden. slam there for Micah. I call it slam for slam at this point. Yeah, uh, definitely oh, had some man. great mat returns for Shamik Harvey earlier as well. He's getting, trying to get back to his feet again. The wrestling is, is starting is, to get heavier and heavier. He is starting to make Shamik wear him right Micah's now. Micah's raining down blows. Yes, he is. He's going to try to slip in. That choke, Shamik's trying to get up. He's hand fighting right here. This is Michael Harden's kind of fight right here. Shamik is strong enough to explode. But Micah, man, he's making him wear him like a backpack. This Brandon is what he strikes. does best. Time. Almost with the finish there, Michael Harden. Who do you give that round to? Micah, 100. percent You know this has been uh, this has been a really back and forth, this super competitive fight. This is the fifth fight. and final round. Guys, we're looking at the last round. Are they going to leave it to the judges, or is somebody going to go for a finish? Only time will tell. Don't blink. Hayasan MMA fam in the sands going nuts for Shamik Harvey.
Shamik Harvey bringing the crowd on. Now the glove touch in the final round. Oh, big body shot there. Oh, wait, no, that was to the cup. Oh, to the cup. Oh, oh man. That, that sound, that sound, too. It happens. It's part of the sport, you know. You're not always going to have <laughs> a clean strike sometimes. Especially when you throw a lot of kicks, you know, it's it's inevitable. Things like this happen. The way his body just, like, shut down, I thought yeah. for sure he got hit by well, it. That was a pretty pretty rough kick. Shimi, uh, Micah does throw some pretty big bombs. All right, Shamik now looking like he's ready to get back in there. All right, here we go. Fainting for the takedown. Looks like Shamik is trying to push the pace. Is he going to shoot for a takedown? Nope. No. He will get shot on instead. Michael oh, Harden him now. down. Michael wow. Harden. He just, just flew out of the ring. Shamik Harvey just threw him out of the ring. This is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. I hope the welfare of the fighter is okay. He's probably not well. He's still not up. This can't be good. I don't think this. I think this may be the oh, end of this one. Oh, man. You gotta love the hostility from the crowd right now. Can you? You can't only blame them. You know, they came to see a cage fight, and one of the guys are hurt from falling out of the the ring. Man, it's it's a sad thing, but sad to see, man. It was a really good fight too. That person needs to be ejected. Ah, these guys <laughs> over the top right now. You got to love it, man. There the cop goes. You know, this is, uh, it's not what we want to see. Ah, it's out of our hands, people. Thank 
show business. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call a technical decision due to unforeseen injury or accidental injury. We have a unanimous decision out of the red corner, Micah Harden. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are having some issues with the outdoor show. The dew factor is causing moisture in the cage. We are currently trying to dry it off again to get the fights moved back to the cage. Hey, Sir Luke. 